Welcome back to the Taiwan Outlook. I'm your host, Raymond Wu. In this segment, we will continue our conversation with Mr. Guy Wittich, the Chief Executive Officer of European Chamber of Commerce in Taipei. Guy, I want to start off in this segment with a question that we know the global financial situation is bad. Mm. Uh, how bad is it? Uh, how bad would the impact be on EU and Taiwan economic relations? Yeah. What's your personal assessment? Yeah, my, my personal assessment is that uh, on the short term, I mean, the thing is Taiwan is an export-driven economy, yes, right? Yeah. And so th this will affect uh, both exports and imports mm -hmm. because uh, I think we have seen the figures coming out yeah. in, in January. They, they, very poor. I think exports are down 40, 42 yes. percent. Imports, uh, 56 percent. 56 percent, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Um, so in that sense, Taiwan actually uh, still has a, 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 a net uh, 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 it's positive balance on its uh, tra trade balance, which is good. I think Korea is the other way around. That's right. Korea, and that has to it's do even with more the, severe. Yes. And it has to do with the won, the Korean mm. won, that has yeah, uh, depreciated, depreciated tremendously. Yes. Um, so yeah, this will definitely impact uh, uh, business from both sides. Mm -hmm. um, I, uh, you know, if if I look in in, in general, I think there is a, a still a lot of potential good business between. The two sides. Mm -hmm. Again, I think the uh, cross-strait business normalization, mm -hmm. um, the cross-strait uh, detente and approachment has uh, really helped mm -hmm. uh, to give uh, Europe a, a positive impression of Taiwan. Mm -hmm. I think that has it has been key. Mm -hmm. um, now, how do you translate that into more business and more development? Mm, uh, okay. That is something that we at the chamber are working on quite hard. We, mm. We've just been to Brussels. Yeah, okay. uh, we, we've shown the synergy that there is uh, uh, between European companies here and European companies in China. Okay. And uh, actually, there's not much competition because European companies in China are there for very different reasons that they are in Taiwan. Mm, um, okay. Just to give you an example, um, uh -huh. uh, there's a large European company that is specialized in engineering. Okay. Uh, they are in the high-end engineering. Um, they make robotics, you know, okay. for for machines. Okay. Um, in China, they would have um, a, a large uh, workforce, 10, 20,000 workers Easy. to yes. actually manufacture machines and, mm -hmm. and work on it. In Taiwan, they would hire two, three hundred white collar engineers okay. developing the systems, exactly. the robotics that okay. are used in their factories in China. China. So I think that's a very good example where Taiwan really is on the higher end of the uh, value chain in terms mm -hmm. of production okay. and where European companies are making use of the large pool of talents in, for example, engineering. I think Taiwan has a unique engineering uh, basis. Yeah, and we have a lot of talented people. A lot of talents area, in yeah. that area. Mm -hmm. um, uh, if you add up the uh, the IP protection, intellectual property right protection in Taiwan, which is still much better than in China. Mm -hmm. um, if you add on the, uh, the the proximity to the clusters, you mm -hmm. know, the, in the industrial clusters, and yeah. you add it all up, mm -hmm. Taiwan actually is in, in a quite good yeah. uh, uh, competitive position. Yeah, in a position, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so having, having said that, you know, we are in a bad situation in terms of the economy, I think mm -hmm. we're quite optimistic that mm -hmm. Taiwan has a lot of the the fundamentals in place that, yeah. that makes it a strong in, uh, base for probably not full services. I think we should look more at at, at the higher end of the manufacturing and then go into yeah. services related to, to, yeah. to manufacture, the, the high end of the value chain, exactly. Yeah. yeah, and also the fact is that we know, as you mentioned in the earlier discussion, that Guy, a lot of the uh, governments around the world are c now coming out with uh, stimulus packages. Yeah. You know, Taiwan is no exception. You know, governments announced a number of you know, measures aimed to stimulate you know, uh, domestic spending and also on the infrastructure project. How does the membership uh, company, European companies yeah. that are you know, already operating in Taiwan, how do they react you know, to some of the uh, provisions within the uh, stimulus package, you know, especially, for example, in the retail business. Mm. You say you got some uh, you know, major retail chains in Taiwan. Uh, Gafor is a, a very good example. How do they react to some of the provisions provided by the government here? And do they, of course, they, naturally they will welcome, but uh, how do they think the, uh, the package will help you know, Taiwan's economy to endure this difficult time? Mm. 
Well, of course, I talked to a couple of uh, our retailers before I came here oh, to, okay, uh, to double check. But um, yeah, I mean, in general, I think I mean all these kind of measures are welcome. I think yeah. there's nobody who would say, "Sorry, you know, we don't want <laughs> we this." We don't need this. <laughs> I, I think everybody would need this, right? Yeah. Um, and you know, I, I really don't want to sit here and start, you know, criticizing. I mean, one thing though, I think if if the government plans to do this a second time, is the timing. Okay. Uh, you know, this year we had Chinese New Year, the, the second half of January, mm -hmm. and and so basically what happened is, uh, when the government announced, I think it was December 18th, that yeah. they announced the uh, the package and, and, yes. and, and the timing of it, basically from December 18th or 19th, people stopped spending. They stopped spending until January 17, 18. That's so right. When they got the vouchers. Exactly. Yes. So if you look, if you ask our retail, retailers, mm -hmm. many of them said, you know, we had a very poor month up until all the way up until the 18th of January, and then mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. within one week time, everybody wanted to spend as much as they could. Yes. And then so they had a huge problem with the supply of the of the goods, and. Okay. Um, so overall, That's a very good point. Yes. Th that made up for what they missed in the first half of mm. January. But if you can design it in such a way that it actually spreads the sales over a longer period of time, mm. and uh, it, it would be a bit better in terms of uh, the result uh, to gain from. I mean, I don't want to complain here. I think no. I think this is no. good. Mm -hmm. um, some some industry said, like we talked to the beverage alcohol companies that are importing uh, the uh, spirits from Europe and, and liquor. Uh, they were not really affected or they had no positive impact, but maybe mm -hmm. people don't use this to buy these kind of goods. No. Um, I think in the electronic sector we see uh, quite some uh, uh, positive feedback. Um, mm -hmm. I was at the uh, uh, Sanxi, what is it, the uh, 3C uh, exhibition yes. at the uh, World Trade Center this last weekend. and. Yeah. Amazing to see how many people were there um, <laughs> using, their using their vouchers. the vouchers, and it has become a whole kind of second um, um, uh, currency because oh, right. every company has some ad additional benefit ad added to it. Um, incentives, uh, yes. incentives to to spend it with them and not yeah. with the other one. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, what what other things we we could ask the government to do is is you know taxation is an area I think they should also look at very carefully mm -hmm. um, and to. Uh, Make keep Taiwan competitive um, mm -hmm. for companies, uh, but also for people to to spend. And I think yeah. they've been looking at at the delaying the um, uh, payment for uh, of in personal income tax yeah, and other right. matters. Yeah. Exactly. And also uh, interesting that you mentioned the issue of timing, uh, because we talked earlier, of course, about the infrastructure in Taiwan, and right. that is a you know very major focus of government's uh, revitalization package. And uh, last week it passed the executive yuan, mm -hmm. and this year it's slated for over 150 billion NT dollars. And uh, uh, next year is even gonna be bigger. It's uh, gonna be 160.6 billion dollars. And we hope to create something like a, you know, over 300,000 jobs in the process. Uh, but the fact of the matter remains is none of this is gonna happen until the second half of 2008 right. or even later yeah. you know so we got some at least good six or seven or eight months you know before you know most of these monies are being distributed being spent how do you think the european companies especially those you know companies that have the experience the technology in infrastructure project whether it's the you know aviation city in taoyuan or the sewer system yeah. in taiwan how do you think that in the interim you know, seven, six, or eight months, that they could better prepare, or they could somehow position themselves once the money does actually, yeah. you know, being distributed, you know, to the local levels and things, they're ready to, you know, get involved and to yeah. be a part of it. No, in fact, already uh, we have been quite active for the last half year or even Good. the last uh, 12 months. Yes. Um, because we, we saw the, actually the ITA one was announced uh, uh, before Ma's election yeah. in mm -hmm. November 2007, mm -hmm. yes, <laughs> uh, when he was speaking uh, for our chamber and uh, and he, he he disclosed the plans with us. Yes. At that time, he already. So for the last 12, 14 months, we have been working very hard to mm -hmm. uh, communicate with the government, telling them about you know what kind of technologies and how we as European companies would like to participate okay. in the I Taiwan one and, okay. and the uh, Taoyuan Hong Kong and the yeah. uh, Taoyuan Airport City, City is one yes. of the, uh, the projects. 
Uh, we have a lot of expertise in that. Course, if you yes. uh, look at the uh, the Amsterdam, the Netherlands, uh, uh, um, the uh, aviation construction company, the uh, airport construction company, mm -hmm. um, we've looked at the uh, also the sewage systems. Yes. Um, we have one company called Veolia. Uh, they are the world leader in this mm -hmm. uh, in this area. They have uh, built the uh, I think it's wastewater treatment in mm -hmm. Shanghai already about ten years ago. Yeah. So. Um, Yes, we, we have definitely tried to, uh, and we are trying to uh, push mm -hmm. the government in, I mean, not necessarily work with us, but, you know, get started as soon as possible. Yeah. Uh, it's already um, um, April, February, March at the moment, yeah. and we're a bit worried that, uh, as you say, uh, you know, m we have n haven't seen many projects being rolled out. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think Obama has the still same problem in the United <laughs> yeah, States right. where uh, he just got approved his uh, seven, eight hundred billion uh, yeah, uh, package. But, package. Yeah, but yeah. you know, how do you get actually immediate instant right. uh, you know, trickle injection down where you have actually uh, you can gain in, in, in getting more jobs to the people and, and get your project started? But the problem is that these projects will take yeah, a, long uh, a time. couple of years yeah. before they're completed. Yeah. So. Um, I think in that respect, yes, uh, you're absolutely right. We need to get the government uh, uh, move on and yeah. accelerate the process to yeah. get whether it's the sewage systems, whether it's the uh, uh, urban regeneration, yeah, uh, the Taoyuan Hong Kong thing. These are all projects that, yeah, yeah the, the plans are there. They're great plans. So yeah. you know, let's go. We need gone. to move ahead. We need to move ahead. Yeah, um, okay. we we have that expertise. Others yeah. have it as well. But you know, we're we're glad to share at any moment. Yeah. yeah, we're certainly looking forward to that as the revitalization part of the EU-Taiwan economic relations. Uh, we'll be back after a short break, and we'll continue this conversation with Mr. Ian Kudich. I'll see you next time.